Sanjay Leela Bansali's ode to Kamatipura, Gangubai Katyavada, is expectedly an overdressed overkill that celebrates the brothel house and seems to suggest that most of them are willing to live the life and suggests a certain glamour quotient to the life in a brothel house. One therefore could have a serious question mark on the thematic content of Sanjay Leela Bansali's Gangubai. As I sit down to take a look at Bansali's latest offering, the media is full of praise of how Alia Bhatt has transformed and has made a brilliant on-screen performance. I beg to disagree. The role of a sex worker or a prostitute has been one of the oldest that our cinema has shown. Nargis Adalat, Meena Kumari, name the heroines of their past and most of them have done it. Meena Kumari, Vahida Rehman, Vajanti Mala, all of them at some stage, Rekha, Shabana Azmi, Sharmila Tagore, have all done this role at one time or the other. In fact, if you look at Sharmila Tagore's filmography, from the extremely calm, quiet Amar Prem's sex worker, to the nasty award-winning Mausam sex worker, to the Charitrahin call girl. She's done every role, every facet of the call girl. Compare these performances with Alia, who's so central. And you'll notice that Alia is just not made to do Kanguba. Alia is good, no doubt about that. Her performance is top class. In the vulnerable scenes, she's very touching. In scenes where she's got to show power, she's got a power in her, but not the crass, wild. That's not the angst that a woman who's sexually exploited into a profession of being a sex worker would carry. And the gloss of Sanjay Leela Bansali takes over grand scenes. The Kota looks like a five star, except when all of them are sleeping. Or take her costumes. She is wearing wonderful oxidized silver chokers, garnet bangles, khadi silk, tussar silk, white saris finely embroidered. How are we suggesting that this is how the lady in white was dressed? Authenticity takes, goes for a six. And as ever, in a Sanjay Leela Bansali film, it's the set, it's the background, it's the music, a repetitive music from his repertoire, coming like handovers from the time of Hamdil De Chuke Sanam. Don't add value to Gangubai. A competitor critic of Alia Bhatt went to town and I'm tempted 
to say maybe she is right. It's paradoxical that mainstream Hindi cinema that has postured prostitution in so many ways today finds it difficult to find an actor who would do that role with authenticity. Deepika Padkod, Alia Bhatt, Priyanka Chopra, Kareena Kapoor, none of them. Kareena already did it. And somehow you don't see these modern actresses falling in place with a character like Gangubai. And that I suspect is the major drawback of the film. Multiple drawbacks in the film, 173 minutes. Characters like Shantanu Maheshwari and Varun Kapoor as the two men in her life, cardboard performances. Vijay Raz as the cross-gender Razia Bai, hardly has a role to play. Sheila Masi, Seema Baba, who heads the brothel house, is literally throwing weight around in the film and doing nothing else. All this notwithstanding, Alia Bhatt deserves the praise she gets because she gives everything she has to the movie. Unfortunately, that's not what the character demanded. She is not in sync with the demands of the character. I am surprised that Sanjay Leela Bansari and Alia did not sit together and watch Mandi. They did not watch Mausam. And if they had watched these two, or watched Chakra for that matter, the profiling of Gangubai would have changed. And in a biopic, if you get your profiling wrong, and your central character wrong, then what remains? Not since Raj Kapoor messed up his Satyam Shivam Sundaram with a box office compromise. And Zina Taman in the rustic role of the village belly. Can I recall a woeful miscast of the central character? Gangubai suffers poor characterization. Gangubai suffers a woeful miscast. Gangu Bai suffers like every other Sanjay Leela Bansali film suffers. Long, staged beyond need, grandeur and nothing more. If that is your understanding and that is the kind of cinema you like, Gangubai for you. Otherwise, I do not think 176 minutes is worth investing on in this film. Acknowledgements to Datu and Abhinav. Thank you very much for tuning in and listening to my take on this film, Gangubai Katiabad.